29 years ago, my father had prostate cancer. Back then, the survival rate was basically one in five at that point, and he happens to be still a survivor, and that's been almost 30 years. Dr. Goldenberg called me, said, I've got good news and bad news. Bad, you have cancer. Good, you have the best type of cancer you can get, because we can fight it. You find out you have prostate cancer, you panic. You go in to see a variety of urologists and radiologists, and you start finding out that there's an awful lot of choices to be made in treating your disease. The care was phenomenal. I had my gland removed completely, and I've been uh, PSA zero. I went through prostate cancer, I had a robotic operation. I'd like to say that everything is working very well. Then I wanted to help out, and I felt the VGH Foundation and this golf tournament, and it combines golf, which I'm going to be quite good at soon. Hail Mary. Atta boy. there it is. In our very first year, we raised $68,000. And then it's been going up since then to a point where last year we made over $580,000. It's grown year after year. The tournament keeps getting better, I think. And, and that's what keeps, uh, keeps the people coming back. You can do a lot of sponsorship. You can do a lot of talking. But when somebody decides that they're going to make a difference by making a significant contribution, it, it really helps out. It makes the tournament really rewarding. Everybody in the room gets a buzz and it feeds on itself. The wager on this is a glass of fine hops and a refill if you need it. I'm uh, six years of zeros, which people will recognize, no PSA, and uh, I'm good to go. I'm assuming it's gone, but what I don't want to happen is other guys my age to get it. This is for the win. Somebody put saran wrap on the hole. Anybody over 40 should be getting checked every couple of years because you just never know because when it comes, it could come on really fast. We've got one of the top three clinics in the whole world here. They're developing new cocktails to fight different DNAs of prostate cancer. They are the very top. They're the best there is. So I kind of like that science behind what happens to me. I've had several friends that have been affected by it and in touch with all of, all of them are survivors. So uh, I'm very happy to say that. And uh, you know, if we can keep doing things to, to push this cause further and further, uh, maybe we won't be talking about this in 20 years. To contribute to something like that that's going to keep advancing and saving more and more lives. Plus, we have a lot of fun on this committee and create some great friendships. How long have you been playing for, Rob? An hour and a half. <laughs> I mean, the Ted Tickner Award is a very prestigious thing, so I can just say to the VGH Foundation, thank you. You didn't have to do it. It's great to be recognized, but we'll just continue going on and doing what we've been doing for the last uh, few years. The guy's probably all very appreciative of, of some of that recognition, but you know, I hope that what we can do is really get more people involved. And people will see how much fun we're having and they'll want to be a part of it. It's a good feeling when you know that, hey, you've done something that is worthwhile, going to a good cause, that has touched so many individuals. So it's men's prostate cancer, but it affects everybody. The legacy that all of us could have is that uh, this disease is gone. It's not a problem anymore for you, your brother, your father, your uncle, anybody. Let's get rid of it and, um, and, and then start knocking off some other diseases. You know, Rob's a, a good guy. He hits at 280 yards. I want to whip these guys' ass. Yeah, pretty much. He's very competitive, so if you can just throw him off a little bit. Okay, we got 198 to the front, 201 to the pin, and 207 at the back. Eight. God, I hope this isn't too much. Uh, hang on. Uh, uh, long. I told you a nine. You said eight.